What's going on YouTube? Hope your Sunday is going well. Uh, this is USMC Saxoki. I thought today would be fun to look at how much it costs to fuel my Zero SR motorcycle for a year since I've had it. So I essentially took the miles I've driven so far, uh, divided it, divided those miles by how many miles I get per kilowatt hour and take that number times what I pay per kilowatt hour and it gives me the money I've spent. And then just for fun, I thought, well, how much would it cost uh, to put fuel in an equivalent gasoline-powered motorcycle? So I did that as well, and I subtracted one from the other and came up with my savings. Spoiler alert, it's hundreds of dollars. Now, I'm not getting rich. Um, it's, not, it's not crazy money, but over time, you know, you have a bike like this for 5, 10 years, it's going to be a lot of money. So... Kind of going to go line by line, show you slide by slide how I calculated things um, and the costs that I came up with. So it's pretty cool. So one thing I want to note is I've done a number of videos about my Zero SR motorcycle. Um, it's just a thing I'm very interested in. Um, I love telling people about it because they just most people have not seen something like it even though it's actually fairly common in a lot of parts of the world. Um, but if you haven't checked out my other Zero SR videos, please do. I got a good one on efficiency. I got a good one of comparing that to the uh, 2020 Harley-Davidson Livewire. I did a full review on my bike. Um, please check those out. And if you haven't, um, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like, give me a comment. I would very much appreciate it. Okay, so the first slide we're looking at here is essentially my cost to fuel, I'm going to use the word fuel interchangeably, my Zero SR for one year uh, in electricity. Okay, so Zero SR, it's an, it's an electric motorcycle, 100% electric, you can't put ga gas in it. Um, you could douse it with gas and light it on fire, but that's uh, beside the point. You cannot put gas in, so you have to charge it. So it, the cost of fuel or operate the bike for the Zero SR is going to be calculated using electricity, particularly kilowatt hours. Okay, so really simple. I'm going to read from top left down all right so cost of charge or fuel my zero sr for one year electricity all right so i've had the zero sr for a little over a year as of today i put 5900 <laughs> 5901 miles on the bike all right so 5901 miles essentially so then i figured out my average miles per kilowatt hour of charge okay so per kilowatt hour that's you pay electricity your electricity cost is per kilowatt hour so I calculated my per, per kilowatt hour, how many miles I go per kilowatt hour. So 120, and where 120 is my average range in miles on a full charge, when I charge the bike to 100%, my average range has been around 120 miles based on how I ride, okay? Divided by 12.6. 12.6 is the nominal battery capacity in kilowatt hours according to zero, okay? The battery pack in the zero SR is rated at 14.4 kilowatt hours. However, that's max capacity. Nominal capacity is the more usable, what you're actually going to use based on nominal um, voltage uh, during riding the motorcycle. So I took 120 miles divided by 12.6 and I came out with 9.5238. So average cost per kilowatt hour I pay in Jacksonville, North Carolina, moving down, is 10.6 cents. All right. Look, took my electric bill, I took my monthly kilowatt hour usage. Oh, I'm sorry, I took my the cost of the kilowatt hours divided by how many kilowatt hours I used. And for some reason, it was a little different um, by a few decimal points every month, but the average was 10.6 cents per kilowatt hour. So cost to charge or fuel my zero SR for one year. Okay, so I took 5,901 divided by 9.5238, which will give me how many kilowatt hours I've used in the bike. And I multiply that number by 10.6 cents or 0.1 zero six and that number came out to be sixty five dollars and sixty eight cents so sixty five dollars and sixty eight cents is how much it costs me to drive to fuel the zero sr and ride it for five thousand nine hundred one miles again sixty five dollars and sixty eight cents very cheap um very efficient Okay, moving on. So you, as you can see, this next slide is cost of fuel and equivalent gas bike driven the same amount of miles, essentially. So, you know, what's what's really the point of having an electric vehicle if it costs more to operate 
Um, it takes longer to fuel. Um, can't go as long on one full tank, we'll say, on a full charge. So I thought, well, let's compare that uh, that amount, that $65.68, to what it would cost to go that same amount of mileage on a traditional um, gasoline or ICE um, motorcycle, internal combustion engine motorcycle. So again, miles road, or miles ridden, whichever one you want to say, 5,901 miles um, in a year. And so I, I kind of... Just, just grab the kind of a normal, um, more normal bike. Uh, the, the gasoline bike that I probably would have bought if I didn't buy the Zero. And it's uh, the 2018 Honda CB650F. It's a naked bike. Um, very cool. Um, ergonomics, very similar to the Zero. Anyway, but so the 2018 Honda CB650F, average MPG. I looked online, um, found a bunch of numbers. Um, more in the 40s, honestly, 46 and 48, but... I, and I saw some 50s, a little bit over 50. So I just said, well, we'll just be conservative and say 50 miles per gallon. I think 50 miles per gallon is a pretty good estimate that a lot of motorcycles, gas-powered motorcycles, are going to get um, if you're, you know, gentle with them and ride them conservatively. So we're going to say if you drive a motorcycle that gets 50 miles per gallon, you know, simple. So you take 5901 divided by 50, and you, you've used 118 point. 118.02 gallons um, of fuel to drive that that mileage. All right. So then I just did a little bit more research. I just googled, you know, average price of gasoline. Looked up looked up Jacksonville, North Carolina, and calculated the average price of gasoline for the last year. Okay. So for regular unleaded, uh, average price of regular unleaded gas in Jacksonville, North Carolina, over the past year is 2.443, two dollars four and forty four cents essentially. So then I took the average price of premium unleaded or 93 octane, which is what most, a lot of motorcycles require. I know uh, Harley Davidson is due for a fact. I do not know for sure if the Honda, if the Honda CB650 does. But anyway, calculated that and it came out to $3 and um, essentially six cents a gallon or seven cents if you round up. So cost of fuel and equivalent gas bike driven same amount of miles. All right. So you take that 118.02, multiply it by the price of fuel. Uh, the price of a gallon, and you get for regular and leaded $288.32, and for premium, $361.92. Okay, moving on. This slide is much simpler. So just a simple uh, simple arithmetic here. Um, I calculated the fuel cost savings for regular unleaded gasoline and premium unleaded gasoline compared to my zero. Okay, so pretty simple math. You take the 288.32 minus 65.68. So you take the cost to fuel a gas bike minus the cost to fuel my electric bike or to charge it for those for the 5,901 miles. And in a year, uh, you, I would I save anywhere from in between $296.24 $296 to $222.64, depending on what type of gasoline you use. Okay, now this is where, you know, you can kind of make – you can change a lot of numbers here. You know, if you drive a big Harley, you're getting closer to 40 miles per gallon. Um, if you live in other parts of the country, you're paying more for gasoline, but you're also probably paying more for electricity. I know in California, gasoline is more expensive and electricity is more expensive. So the numbers can really go either way. Um, there are also more efficient zeros, um, electric motorcycles you could be driving. So but these are just the numbers that I calculated based on my experience and my riding. So if you look over to the right, you have fuel savings after five years under SIP. So what I just did was I multiplied the 222.64 times five, and you get $1,113.22 um, for regular unleaded. And for premium unleaded, 296.24 times five, you get $1,481.21 of savings after five years of ownership. I think five years is a good amount of time to own one motorcycle. I hope to own the zero for at least 10 years. That's my goal. So just double those numbers and you'll have the fuel savings in 10 years. That's assuming all variables stay the same. Um, pretty sure get the cost of gasoline will go up and I'm pretty sure the cost of electricity will go up. Probably not at the same rate, but it's one of those things where, yeah, it's not, it's not thousands of dollars a year, but it is hundreds of dollars and it is savings. Um, this is, this is just for fuel. This is not taking into account oil changes, um, coolant changes, any kind of little tune ups, spark plugs, chain, the Zero SR is a carbon fiber belt, so the only maintenance on that, and I haven't had to do any, is uh, making sure the belt tension is correct. 
Um, so no chain maintenance, uh, any, no, ex no exhaust to mess with. Um, very straightforward. Unfortunately, I have had to replace the rear tire because it got punctured. Nothing I could do about that. And I just had it in for the annual North Carolina safety inspection. And lo and behold, my front tire was worn down to the wear bars. Um, so I had to replace the front tire. Again, two things that, you know, more than likely you would have to replace on, on any bike after so, after so much riding. So I got essentially two brand new tires on the bike. The bike's running great and I love it. No issues so far. Okay, so this final slide is just is essentially everything I just talked about in, in one slide, all right? So top right, you have what I talked about first, um, cost to charge or fuel my Zero SR for one year, cost me $65.68. And then if I had a motorcycle that got 50 miles per gallon, um, yeah, I'd be, I would either spend $288.32 if I um, put regular unleaded or $361.92 for if I put premium, premium in. I'm not going to read the other numbers. You all can read. Um, I've already talked about this, but this is just my kind of one slider on uh, the math I did. So again, there's there's a lot of variables. Um, if you ride very aggressively on the zero, you probably only going to get 100 miles to a charge, um, which is going to cost you more. Um, or you could get 100 up to 179 miles um, of range on a charge uh, if you just ride, you know, it's a lot of stop and go in the sit in uh, the city traffic. So. The numbers change, but overall, it is quite a not substantial, but there is there is a noticeable savings. And if you drive an electric car, um, you know, 12, 15, 20,000 miles a year, and um, you're paying kind of the same uh, what I do for electricity. Obviously, you're not going to get the uh, 9.5 miles per kilowatt hour. You're probably going to get more like 3.5 to 4 miles per kilowatt hour. But yeah, this, the savings for an electric car are very substantial as well. So yeah, that's my data. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, doesn't take doesn't take a math major. Doesn't take a calculus wizard. Um, pretty simple arithmetic. All right. So thank you. So one of the great things about EVs is how um, efficient they are and how cheap to operate and fuel. Um, because if you're gonna buy a vehicle that does have limited range and does have long fuel times or recharge times. You're gonna want some advantages of that, and the advantage is the cheapness to fuel and operate the uh, the vehicle. Now, with my Zero SR, um, like I just showed you, the to fuel it is super cheap compared to a gas-powered vehicle. The downside is you can't you can't fill up in you know five minutes or whatever it takes to get gas. The plus side is, is you're not tied to the uh, that system. You can charge at home. I mean, how often, how long does your bike sit in your garage every night? Probably long enough to charge, right? All right, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got some information from it. Um, USMC Saxoki, live smarter, live simpler, live with more money. That's my motto. Um, if you like, please subscribe. Uh, give me a like. Give me a comment. Please do something. All right. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Have a good week, and uh, I'll see you when I see you.